Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. So if you are planning to be a content creator, especially here on YouTube, then video is obviously a very important thing. And the type of videos you're going to make really depends on what you're going to be doing. But one thing that I feel like every content creator is going to need is some type of screen recording tool. And in Linux, you have many options. And for the most part, people are going to use something like OBS, which I absolutely love because it is first and foremost free and open source. And secondly, it is multi-platform. However, it does have a learning curve. And so my favorite screen recording tool for really simple and quick screen recordings, and it's also pretty feature rich, is Simple Screen Recorder. And so if you are not familiar with this tool, it is very easy to use, and I'm going to show you how you could get this on your Linux install. Now, if you have a fresh install of Linux Mint, which is at the time of this video, Linux Mint 19, all you simply have to do is go to your administration and then software manager, and then you could actually just type in screen recorder, and you'll see simple screen recorder right here. Now, you can also go to the website as well to actually install this program. And this is going to be done through a command line if you actually go to the website. They have instructions here. And uh, first and foremost, I do want to give a huge thanks to the person who created this. This is an amazing program and it's benefited so many people. So you could always come here and do everything command line. However, for people who are just brand new to Linux and it is in the software manager, just go ahead and come here and just install it. And it shouldn't take long at all to install this tool. You just put in your password. And once it's installed, what it's going to do is it's going to put it right here under your sound and video and there's simple screen recorder. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. And this is a really easy way to get your screen recordings without a lot of complexities. And so if you open this up, now you could actually record the entire screen based upon the resolution that you have. Or you could even record a fixed rectangle. And in this case, you could record different windows. So for example, if you wanted to record your browser, all you would do is choose this option and then do select window and click on it and now it'll record just this particular window. Now there are other things you could do here uh, but I really don't choose that. You could even record the cursor or not, basically your mouse. And so most of the times I either record the entire screen or a window which is basically my browser or you could even select a rectangle. So you could select a certain area. So very handy options and easy to use. Now, as you go in further here, you do have more options for your audio. So right now, the default is your post audio. And there's also Elsa and also Jack. For me, I just use post audio and you have a few options. Now, if you do have a microphone setup, you will have an option to choose a different audio input. And if you had this right here where it says monitor a built in analog, it will record whatever sound is coming out of whatever program that you're using. So once you have your audio settings selected, now you can move to the all important video settings. So as you can see here, the default frame rate is 30 frames per second. You can adjust this. However, it will depend on your hardware, your CPU and the rest of your hardware. So it, it's going to depend. And then you can also scale the video as well, the width and height. Typically for me, I just leave these alone. I just leave them the way they are. And then if you move over to the next screen, you will see some different profiles already set up. So if you choose them, the settings change right there. There's also some live stream options. And here we have YouTube as well. I myself choose my own and then I will save this as a new profile. So the first thing you want to do is choose where you want to save it and also the name. And so like here, I chose videos and then I'm going to name this test. Now what it's going to do is it's actually going to append a date timestamp after test so that way if you record multiple videos it will be a different file altogether with a different name at the end and now this is where it's important if you're just starting out I would just choose mp4 for the container because this is universally the same throughout any video platform so it makes it a lot easier for you to upload and then here I would choose other for the codec and then codec name I would choose mpeg4 now this is where you can adjust the quality of the video recording. The default is 5,000 kilobytes per second. I myself use 10,000. So what that's going to do is give you a higher quality video, but it will require more space and it will take up more of your computer power. 
But otherwise, this is what I do. I just choose allow frame skipping. Audio codec, I just leave it as Vorbis. You can try other things as MP3 or AAC, but I haven't seen a difference at all whenever I'm choosing these. And now if you continue, you could start recording. And you could also use the shortcut Control R to start recording and Control R to stop. And that is it for a very simple tutorial on Simple Screen Recorder. This is an absolutely amazing tool. It's one that I use pretty much all the time and it's easy enough to where anybody can use this. And the learning curve is pretty much just the time that I went over this right now. And obviously you can explore the variety of settings, experiment with different resolutions, so forth. But for the most part, this will work for pretty much anyone. And so if you had any thoughts on Simple Screen Recorder, OBS, or other video recording tools in Linux, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get value out of these videos, share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators group. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com, and I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.